Western world foot. And here, look at this foot. It comes from the heel and it fans out into this gorgeous spread toes. You know, strong foot, plenty of callus. This foot here goes into our Western shoe wear. It's in our dress shoes, it's in our running shoes. Um, we're seeing more companies, and I hope more and more, that are building a wider box. Just getting this box as wide as you can. At this point, the shoe doesn't matter too much. Yeah, it matters what's in here, but on top, after the second lace, it doesn't really matter what's on top, for the most part. The less weight, as far as I'm concerned, the better. As long as it attaches that device to your foot and doesn't let it slip around, that's all you want. But this, in some respects, is what we have done. We've put our shoe feet into uh, cushion, soft, warm, pointed footwear. And that changes the anatomy, but it also changes the muscular mm -hmm. ability to get to some of these mm -hmm. muscle groups. So let's talk about toe box, because this is really important. There is the joint line of the first metatarsal phalangeal joint, OK? This is the most important one. That's where all the force is going through. I want my shoe to flex where that flexes. If you try to size your shoe, oh, Mrs. Jones, you've got perfect, that's enough. That's not how you size a shoe. You go, Mrs. Jones, that's where your shoe bends. Um, this is interesting, because that's the Newton, and it bends there, but that's because you're midfoot strike. So most shoes have a siping line in the middle, and that's where, in fact, it's right here, you can see the gusset right here, and the gusset right here, and when I bend it, that's where the shoe bends. That should be roughly where you size your patient's big knuckle where the toe bends. I don't care how much room you have up here. It doesn't matter. The more, the better, because the further this goes, the wider the toe box stays, and it's not going to crowd them out. It's going to allow them to put their foot down and do this, as opposed to put their foot down and do this with the toes. So the foot should bend where the shoe bends. In fact, there's about a quarter inch give. The shoe will bend first, and then the foot will bend. So if you're, I actually will take my client, and I'll push real hard on that first knuckle, right where that joint bends. And I'll say, I want you to remember that spot. And they're usually you know, still wincing in pain. And <laughs> I'll put a little, a little mark with my pen line right here on the shoe, and I'll bend it and say, see, that's where the shoe bends. Put their foot in there and immediately come off that line and say, is that the same spot? And if it is, that's a good fit. I could care less how much is at the front. Now, if they are crowded, I will still go larger. Okay? But I would, I would fathom to say that that might not even be the right shoe for them. If that's where they're bending and that's how much room they have, I might go to a different shoe for them. This is important, okay, because not everybody has that kind of alignment on the first toe. In fact, this lady didn't. The heels are lined up, the first met is lined up, but look here. So if you fit this client by the front, just her left shoe, we're just, oh, that's just the right shoe for you. You got plenty of room here. It's going to hit the front here. You see what I'm saying? You've got to look at the anatomy. That is eating up distance this way. So toe box can be faked out by alignment issues. And, you know, this is the 20, you know, we're, we're in the year 2011 here. There's a lot of bunions out there, okay? And now there's going to be a lot of bunions going into minimalistic shoes, okay? So I'll have to work till I'm 100. But a lot of these issues come up more than you think. Um, and look at the grip response there. Wow, this is an incompetent toe. They're starting to grip a little bit more because the second toe says, hey, the first guy isn't working. Maybe I need to work a little harder. There are clues. The toes are a huge clue. I mean, how many of you guys see the people with the calluses on the tips of the foot and the black toenails? Why is that? Because they're gripping. And as they grip, they push the nail into the sock liner, and they literally pull that nail away on the sock liner. And that's why you get black toenails. It's not because you're hitting the front of the shoe. You've got plenty of room in the front of the shoe. They're into a grip response because they're firing their flexors because the foot is intrinsically weak. Don't drop that person down into a minimalistic shoe. They need some foot rehab. Get them into an appropriate mid-grade shoe, maybe a fast twitch. It's got you know, that lower ramp angle, but it's not too much, like a 10 degree. So bottom line, fit the shoe length by matching the metatarsal phalangeal joint, that first big toe joint line, to where the shoe bends. Toe box volume is completely irrelevant, unless it's too short, of course. Thank <laughs> you.